What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you being here. This is going to be a very different vlog. It's more of an appreciation video for all of you ladies and gents, you beautiful people who have been watching these every day or twice a week, sorry, not every day, but some of you watch them every day. You go back and you watch all the videos and I appreciate you. I appreciate the love, the ideas, the energy that you guys have brought to this channel, especially during this last year. I'm not even gonna be editing this video. I'm literally uploading it however it is. Um, I'm very grateful for the energy and motivation that this channel and this community has brought into my life with this past year, definitely one of mentally the hardest years. Uh, I think that everybody can say they endured, whether it was a positive or a negative year, whatever way you wanna look at it. I think that there was a lot of lessons to be learned. There was a lot of positives that came out of the year. A lot of trials and tribulations this year, most definitely. A lot of obstacles. I don't wanna call them setbacks, but a lot of obstacles for sure. Apologies, my lips are very chapped. A lot of obstacles for sure, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of curtains being pulled down and people's true intentions being shown during these hard times. Hard times usually show true people's true colors and show people's true intentions, uh, the people that are around you. So I'm very grateful for, I'm just very grateful overall for this entire year. I'm very grateful for the inspiration that I got to continue vlogging earlier this year. I'm very grateful for the the first few videos that I uploaded. I think I, I checked earlier today. I think I did like 65 or 70 videos this year, somewhere between 60 and 70 videos, um, which is I think a little bit less than, no, it's probably more than the previous year, but it's the first few videos that I guess you can quote unquote say went viral they had like 40, 30,000 views or 20,000 views at the time. I remember I posted up like that first one. Didn't think anything of it. I like I posted that video and then I think I went through like a quarter life crisis a few days later and like I shaved off my entire beard. I like I didn't even know that I looked like that. I looked like a completely different person. And I was so caught off guard that like I stayed away from the camera. I didn't even think of vlogging for like a few weeks until some of my facial hair came back after that, but I I remember like my beard came back and I was like, oh, maybe like I should like film another video now. I went on the channel. I hadn't checked the channel for a few weeks, maybe like two, three weeks. And I saw that that video had like, I think at the time, like 20 or 30,000 views. And it really, especially with everything that was going on in the world and just with myself personally, it really inspired me and motivated me to continue vlogging, to keep pushing myself, to keep making content for, for you ladies and gents and to keep pushing myself mentally and just spiritually and and a lot of the times that I was speaking to you guys I was speaking to myself as well with things that I had to learn and lessons that I had to really absorb and just not only were were the messages for you guys but they were also just for myself to to grow as a person and to really just value how far I've come and appreciate how far I've come especially the last like five or like even like four to eight years um, for the people that have known me that long know the, how I'm like literally completely different. Even in the last year, I'm completely different than I was at the start of this year. And I'm just very grateful for the love that you guys have brought me, the, um, the positivity that you guys bring, the comments, just showing love, even like the people that show hate, I really don't care. I still appreciate you because I know that my videos have a deeper meaning for those people and they have a lot more self-reflection that they need to do than the people that are showing love. So I still appreciate those people no matter what. And um, just a lot of lessons learned mentally, spiritually, physically. I went through a lot of trials and tribulations physically, just like injuring myself in stupid ways this year and learning more about my body and how to care for it and just being more aware of that and being more aware of my mental state and how I feel when I wake up in the morning and just talking to myself positively and sharing positivity as much as possible and not feeding into the bullshit and negativity that um, came more than ever this year, it's just again with everything going on. And I just want to reflect black, reflect, blah, 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 reflect back on 
all of the videos that we shared together on this channel and all of the information that we shared together on this channel because I promise you that every single one of those videos is going to serve a purpose some way shape or form in your life it's going to bring you either a lesson from a hard time or inspiration and motivation from good times either way it's a positive if you look at it as a positive it's a negative if you look at it as a negative winning the lottery comes with negatives becoming a millionaire becoming a billionaire comes with negatives just as being broke is right they're both they're both tough situations you just got to decide like which perspective and which situation you want to be in in life and i just really implore you to not it's great to have new year's resolutions but don't call them new year's resolutions just call them goals you know what i mean like i personally don't start the new year on the new year like i'm not starting 2021 tonight at midnight i started it like months ago like three four months ago i was already working towards 2021 planning out 2021 planning out 2022 23 and just getting goals and things in line and aligning myself with the things that i want and in the direction that i want to go in because you can want certain things but if you're not aligning yourself with those certain things and projecting the things every single day that you want and thinking about the things every single day that you want and how you're going to get there and the steps you have to take to get there then they're nothing more than just dreams and that's why they're called dreams right you have to you have to change those dreams into goals and the way you do that is by creating steps and a pathway to get to those things to be able to achieve those things and there's nothing that's unobtainable like the majority of the wealthiest people in the world didn't come from inheritances or or money passed down they created something themselves and they brought value to people or brought value to themselves or just found a way to make money and found a way to achieve the things that they wanted to in a in a in a way that maybe serves others or just in trading in a way that serves themselves whatever the case is but i implore you to not call them new year's resolutions but just call them goals really sit down and just just reflect on what you want this upcoming year because you can achieve anything you want. It might take less time, it might take more time, but you can achieve whatever you want out of this coming year and the years coming and all the time after that. So I really just don't focus on outside energy, don't focus on outside opinions of of what you should be doing or who you should be or what you should look like or how you should dress or how you should talk or what you should eat or what time you should go to bed, what time you should wake up. Like I know that's uh, so many of you want to know the little details about for example my life like what time do i wake up what's my sleep routine like it's always different i just i used to have certain set things and i still like to follow like a somewhat of a guideline for those things but like i just go with the flow you know you just got to go with the flow it's the same as if you're a trader you go with the flow if you're an athlete you're gonna have ups and downs like perfect examples the raptors two years ago they won the championship this year like they're at zero oh three is their record it's the worst record uh for the opening three games in like 20 seasons for any NBA team. So it's just like there's going to be ups and downs. You've got to just go with the flow. Just go with what's being presented to you and and tackle it and get through it as best as you can. And just really learn as much as you can from the hard times. Because like this last year has brought a lot, a lot of opportunity for everyone to learn from. And if you didn't learn things, go back and just reflect and just sit there and journal the hard times that you went through the year. And the different obstacles that you faced this past year and just really figure out what lessons there was to be learned from it i know i went through so many that i wouldn't if you told me in january i would have like probably laughed at you because what the world has gone through in the last year isn't or the last 10 months isn't something that as a whole society could have probably predicted right we didn't really nobody woke up on january 1st 2020 and expected any of this to be going on but where when you're throwing obstacles you got to just learn to get over them and get past them as best as possible and learn from them as much as you can so i really hope that my videos this year brought you positive energy i hope that they brought you knowledge i hope that they brought you some sort of i don't know they resonated with you whatever whatever they brought you i hope that it was something positive and something that you could grow from this last year i'm so beyond excited for the content that's going to be coming this year i'm still going to be dropping educational stuff probably once a week and then the other one a week, like one educational and one like just like messing around, whatever type of video. But it's going to be a, a positive year ahead. I'm wishing every single one of you, even if you don't follow the channel and you don't like my videos and you don't like me, I'm wishing every single one of you a positive and abundant year ahead. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it brings you some sort of love and light going into the new year. And um, that's about it. All right so like always no i'm joking i'm not gonna say that but 
I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I hope you spent your New Year's well if you're watching this after New Year's Eve. And I will see you soon. Peace.